Hey bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. If you're new here then welcome to the fam and if you're not then welcome back. I'm still too lazy to make a long intro but I'm trying. Okay. Thank you for your support and positivity. I'm truly thankful. Alright alright that's enough of me rambling some useless shit. On to the video. Get your teacups ready because this is some piping hot tea. Don't forget to like subscribe, and comment. If you don't then I'm going to manifest your death or have our wakatoshi cunt spike a ball into your mean ass or our baby core a server ball right into your head. You'll die either way lol. Oh and before I forget, please don't tell my master that his little bottle is making YouTube videos. He'll drown me in my own little and that's double homicide cause he's too broke to buy a new little bottle. Disclaimer, I don't own any of the characters, the art, or the songs used. This is simply a fan fiction written by no one other than me. The ideas portrayed in this video solely belong to the owner. Don't share my work in a form other than the video's link unless I grant you permission to do otherwise. Inappropriate language is being used and provocative images are sometimes displayed. If you're uncomfortable with yayoi, BL, or same gender relationships then please leave. Proceed only if you're older than 16. Hey guys. Welcome to a new video. This shit has some piping hot tea so get your teacups and snacks ready cause shit is about to go down. And get a few tissues cause some angst is coming up hehehe. He. Hey guys. It's been more than two weeks lol. I really missed you all so I'm back now with more tea. This is after time skip. Onto the video. Hot bottom squad except Suno and Yams because they are imposters group chat. Who the fuck changed the name of the group? I did. Of course it's you. Hey Kiji Chan what is that supposed to mean? At baby Yams. Check out this shit. Bruh. Most of us are switches. Don't make it sound like you only take it in the ass. Toru. I take it in the mouth too. I didn't need to know that. Thank you. Just why the fuck is my phone buzzing at 3 in the morning? A spill says babe. Oh. Who we exposing? That dumbass Hoshumi. What about him? Oh no. He's a fucking top. What? A top? He doesn't look like it at all. Bruh he gave me power bottom vibes. Are you seriously awake at 3 in the morning talking about Hoshiumi and whether he takes it in the ass or not? Right. Kozum san I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought it was ridiculous. I still can't picture Yaku taking it in the ass. I don't. Cuticore Sparkles. Changed the group name to Hot Bottom Squad except Suna, Yams, and Yaku because they are imposters and they don't take it in the ass. That's a long ass name. I won't even argue. Are you all done chatting? Without including me. Absurd. Pick me. Choose me. Love me. Ha 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 ha. Toru you really didn't. Bitch I did. Yuji bitch stop acting like a pick me girl. Where's Tsumu? He'd make a show out of your ugly ass crying. Toru. Sorry mom. I'm not ugly. At I'll break your ankle. Bitch where the fuck are you? Shut your ugly trap Yuji. What the hell do you want Toru? Oh 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 easy. What the hell happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. Tsumu. You can tell us. This is too serious now. What happened? Who the hell dared to hurt my favorite setter? Hey I thought I was your favorite setter. You both are. But Kiji is my favorite if I'm being honest. Capital I. I'm hurt. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Counter I better not see this or he'll think you're trying to snatch me away. Just Bakuto-san being Bakuto-san. Forget about it. How are you and Bokken doing? We're doing great. And how is Sakusa-san? Don't mention that name or I'll go on a rampage for fuck's sake. You don't want him? I'll gladly take him. I'll break your ankle added snacky snake to the group chat. Ah. Uh. Back read. Babe don't. Okay. What the fuck? And what's with the group name? Teru baby. Do you have a crush on Sakusa? No Daichan I don't. Do you want to have a threesome with Sakusa san Okay what the fuck? I. Damn. Omi Omi sure is popular. 
Don't call him that. Call him a liar. And an asshole. No babe. I don't want to die just yet. Let's do it with Daichi first. Bitch what? Sugamama yeeted Snacky Snake out of the group. Yuji you should stop. This isn't funny. I mean yeah. You guys are insane. Spill the tea. Good thing I just finished my stream. I'm ready ready for the tea. Y'all are having fun? My four year relationship is on the line and you are calling it tea. What kind of friends are you? Whoa whoa. Slow down honey. What happened? Nothing. Is he dumb? Yes. Tsumu are you secretly a girl? Huh? Sasako and not only girls throw tantrums like that. You do that the whole time. Exposed. Where's my son? I'm here, mom. Okay okay. Time out. Tsumu. Tell us what the fuck happened. Yes. We're getting worried here. I mean, I am worried. Please do. Do you need me to come pick you up? No, I'm doing good. I'm at a hotel right now. A hotel? Why the hell are you staying at a hotel? Fucking hell Tsumu I called you in the morning and you were doing fine. Even though I don't like you, I'm worried. Soon soon what happened? Fine. I'll tell you. Five hours earlier. Atsumu was back in Sakusa's old apartment and was helping him clean up some old stuff. He came across a cardboard box that was tightly taped shut inside Sakusa's old closet. And curiosity killed the cat. Tsumu I'll go pick up more disinfectant. Take a break if you need. Yes Omi Omi. Don't be late though. And Sakusa left. Atsumu took the chance and sat on the floor in front of the closet and opened the box and he found weird stuff. Picture frames. A pair of rings. A bottle of a what seemed like a really expensive perfume that was half empty. A hand knitted purple scarf. Matching mask and gloves. An old phone. A folder full of Polaroids. A volleyball. A bunch of letters and notes. And a Shiratori Zor jacket. What did this jacket doing here? The picture's frames were wrapped up so he had to unwrap them. He unwrapped the first one which was relatively small. What the fuck? It was a picture of Sakusa kissing a Shijima on the cheek in which they appeared to be on a date. Tsumu was now too shocked to talk. He unwrapped another frame. A picture of them together at a Shijima's graduation ceremony. Another one. A picture of them at a Shijima's farm. Another one. A picture at an amusement park. He went through the ten picture frames that were in the box. All of them of pictures of Sakusa and a Shijima being all love dove. The dates on the back of the frames indicated that this was between the second and the third year of high school. We knew each other back then. He didn't cry. He was too overwhelmed to do so. He moved on to the folder that had Polaroids. They were full of pictures of them. Holding hands. Kissing. And just being happy. Atsumu choked out a sob. He couldn't understand how Sakusa looked so happy. He looked happier back then. Tears were now streaming down his face. He took a minute to calm down his racing heart and then moved on to the rest of the items in the box. He picked up the letters and skimmed through them. They were all cute letters. They exchanged these letters during random training camps back in high school. And Atsumu was there. He thought Sakusa liked him since then. But apparently that wasn't the case. I thought. Damn it I had a crush on him back then. He freezes for a moment. Amela replacement? Fucking hell. We were at his house last week. Satori was even there. Are they still together? He sobbed and cried his heart out, because he knew he had to calm down when Sakusa comes back. His hands were now trembling as he touched the volleyball. It had a few dates written on it. What did these dates mean? They were a lot of dates. And it was signed by Shijima and Sakusa. He took out the neatly folded jacket and he felt something was inside it. It was a journal. He kept a journal. He knew he shouldn't read it but he did. The first page was dated seven years ago, back when they were second years. He skimmed through the worn out pages and he couldn't help but cry at how happy Sakusa sounded in these words. He spent a good half an hour reading. The last page was dated about six months after they graduated from high school. It didn't mention a breakup. And the next pages were empty. 
The last page had ink stains. Was he crying while writing this? He couldn't stop his tears. He felt like his heart was being torn out of his chest. He felt betrayed. He sniffed the perfume and it smelled expensive. He recognized it. Sakusa gave him a similar one as a gift for their first month together. He never told me about him. I thought they just knew each other because of volleyball. He put everything back in its place and sealed the box shut again. But he kept the rings. He was angry. Frustrated. Betrayed. Sad. Anxious. He felt a whirlwind of emotions. He was hoping it was a dream and that he'd wake up soon. He started thinking about the four years he spent with Sakusa. They started dating a while after they both joined MSBY. He was never as happy with me as he was with Ashijima. He never smiled like that. We rarely take pictures. Capital I. Am I just a replacement? He took a minute to calm down. He had to. Sakusa was probably on his way back. Dot. He washed his face with cold water and sat at the dining table and waited. He kept waiting for a while. Sakusa unlocked the door and walked in. Tsumu I'm back. Damn. Why do you look like you've seen a ghost? Maybe I did. Ha 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 I see you're in the mood to be funny. He set the bags on the table and made his way to the sink to wash his hands. Say. Omi. How long have we two been together? Our fourth anniversary is in about three weeks. Why do you ask? Just asking. Do you still work out with Ashijima? Yeah. You know that we go to the gym together. MHM. I see. His nails were digging into his palms. He was trying his best not to break down in front of Sakusa. But Sakusa noticed. Atsumu was being unusually quiet. Atsumu? When were you gonna tell me? The question caught Sakusa off guard. Tell you what? He didn't answer. Instead, he pulled out the pair of rings from his pocket and put them on the table with a thud. This. When were you gonna tell me about this? He saw the color drain from Sakusa's face. Answer me. Kiyumi. When were you going to tell me? Where did you find these? Just answer my fucking question will you? When were you going to see me as someone who is worthy of not being treated as a clueless bitch? It's not what you think. Then what is it? For fuck's sake you see him every day. And we were at his house last week. What's there not to think? Atsumu just let me talk. Talk about what? About how you've been hanging around with your ex for as long as I can remember and I didn't even know that he's not just a friend. Or about how you didn't even bother to tell me. Or about you're happier with him. Or about how I'm just a stupid replacement. God knows what you two do when you're together. Atsumu I'm not cheating on you. Then what the fuck is that? You're clearly not over him. Tucking everything neatly in a box and keeping it doesn't mean that you're over him. It's ironic. Four years down the drain like that. Wait. Atsumu stood up and made his way to the door. Don't you fucking dare follow me. I don't want to see your eyeing ass. How about you go write him a letter or something? Pathetic lying asshole. And he left. He slammed the door in Sakusa's face and stomped his way to the car and broke down. He can't believe how he managed not to cry in front of him. He drove to a hotel Osamu recommended to him a while ago. Tears were streaming down his face and it took all he had not to crash into a tree. Back to the group chat. Hot bottom squad except Suna, Yams, and Yaku because they are imposters and they don't take it in the ass group chat. Wait. You're saying that Ashiwaka and Omi were dating. Are you dumb? Or are you too busy admiring Iwa-chan's biceps? Kiji-chan. Capital I. Damn that's messed up. Yeah I know right. Why isn't Tendo online? That ass probably called a Shijima telling him that I know and knowing a Shijima he probably told Tendo and that's why he's a flying. Why are you bitching about it? Kenma. Stop it Yamaguchi I'm serious. That was back in high school. Why are you crying over it like a loud bitch? He clearly said Sakusa looked happier. And you know how Sakusa and a Shijima are inseparable. I mean. I'm not surprised they were a thing back in the day. Fucking hell Tsumu. And what the fuck are you doing at a hotel? Crying your heart out? Yes Tsumu. 
You know we all are here for you. I'm disappointed you didn't at least tell me or sooner. Shin Chan. Even Osamu doesn't know. I can't tell Samu. He'll murder that asshole. And then Ashijima. And then me for not telling him. So you're mad that your boyfriend hangs out with his ex? No. I'm not mad about that. Then what the fuck is making you mad? He didn't tell me. I had to find out by reading letters they exchanged and seeing pictures. He looked ecstatic. He looked so happy. It made me feel like he's in a relationship with me just because it feels like a duty. That we're getting old and he doesn't want ending up alone. Fuck I'm turning 25 soon. What's old about 25? Did he try calling you? No. That fucking asshole. Soonerin. Calm down. I'm trying. Oh shit. I was putting Lev to sleep. What did I miss? Why are you screaming? Oh. Sorry I didn't realize Cap's lock was on. Y'all lost me at Hoshiumi's ass. Then go and back read bra. Shut up Sasakura. Chocolate babe is online. Tsumu. Apparently Sakusa is crying on my couch now. Took you long enough to notice what the fuck is going on. Hey. I was at work okay. I came back to Akatoshi Kun being more silent than usual. Isn't he always silent? No. And he told me that you found out that him and Kyo were dating back in high school. And why the fuck do you sound so chill about it? Uh. Because I know already. And you didn't tell me. I thought you knew already. Teru being an ass. Not the time for you strainer. One more teacup emoji and I'm drowning you in boiling hot matcha. Please do it. He's giving me a headache. Even more than Kiru. Tsuki would throw a party if you did. Count me and Tsumu. Please. I'll invest in it. Me too. Uh. I'll supervise it. I'll record it. I'll spike a ball into his head. Please I'll rolling thunder his ass. Hey why do you hate me? I'm sad now. Imago cry myself to sleep now. Bye Felicia. Cuticora sparkles. Ye eated mister. Steal your mans out of the fucking group. Capital I. Damn. Oh. That was a bit mean but I get it. Ha 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 finally you did something good. Bro. Ha ha ha. Keyboard smash. You all are insane. Yes. Don't fucking change the subject. Bitch your boyfriend is crying on my couch. Let him. Let a shijima lull him to sleep. I bet he doesn't want anything more than that. That fucking asshole. You know it's not like that. Fuck I don't. If he was over him why would he keep every little memento of them together safely inside a box? Why do they see each other every day? Where are you going? Omi Omi. Oh I'll be having a few drinks with Wakatoshi. Where are you going this early? Omi Omi. Oh I'll go for a run with Wakatoshi. Why are you stuck to Wakatoshi? Oh because I'm still in love with him. Fuck you Omi Omi. We all know he didn't say that. Yeah he obviously didn't. Please just take a chill pill. Where are you staying? I'll pick up sugar and come over. Count me in. I'm sure you need us now. Fucking idiot. You get your ass over here and cry all you want in Samu's arms. Too bad I'm not in Tokyo. Soon soon want to come over? Tobio is saying you're welcome to stay for a while. Say fuck you to Tobio-chan for me. Oh please stop. Tsumu just know we're here for you. Fuck it. Where are you staying? Guys. He needs to pick up his mess of a boyfriend. I won't be picking him up. Thank you guys but I want to be alone. At least for today. No shit Tsumu. I'm picking you up. I'll have Samu use his twin sense and locate your ass. Rin stop. Oh shit he's calling me. Be right back. Tsumu picked up the call. What the fuck do you want? And Sakusa was crying. Crying? Why don't you have a Shijima kiss your forehead and tuck you in? Tsumu just hear me out. No. For fuck's sake. Just stop. Why won't you listen to me? Kyo take a breath. Atsumu can hear a Shijima. Oh Shiwaka chan Why don't you give him a goodnight kiss? A Shijima heard him and clenched his fists. Atsumu please just hear me out. Fucking hell. No. Do you want to hear it in French? 
non Japanese. I I E. Why? Because there's nothing for me to hear out. See ya never Kayumi. And he hung up. Four hours ago, after what happened. Meanwhile, Sakusa. After Atsumu left the house, he paced around the apartment trying to process what just happened. Fucking hell. What just happened? He started thinking about what happened and then it hit him. Oh shit. He figured Atsumu wants to be alone for a while. So he didn't call him. Instead he sat on the couch, head in his hands. He knew Atsumu will dump him. And that's what made him break down. He was a crying mess. He was trembling and he was overthinking. So he ran to Ashijima. He was banging on Ashijima's door at 12 in the morning. Wakatoshi just opened up already. The door opened with a creak and he was met with a really sleepy Ashijima. Kyo. What the hell happened to you? Come in. Oh my god you look like a mess. Did someone die? Yes. Ashijima froze, expecting the worst. My relationship. Ashijima heaved a sigh of relief. I thought someone died. They sat on the couch and Sakusa started crying again. Toshi I messed up big time. We all do that. Do you want to talk about it? Yes. Hold on I'll make you tea. He made him his favorite tea. Oolong tea. You still know my favorite tea. Of course I do. Mind telling me what happened? Sakusa tells him what happened and Ashijima occasionally pats him on the back or wipes away his tears when he cries. Author's note. Sometimes I hate being a mutler shipper. Sorry Tsumu but I'll give you a happy ending. I'm so sorry. So he didn't know? Obviously. Oh my god Toshi please stay focused. I am focused. Wait. So he knew because you kept everything? Yes. But why? I don't know. I felt awful when I tried getting rid of them back when we broke up. It's not like I was expecting us to get back together or anything. But it was a bit painful to fully let go. Do you still? No. You and El are best friends now. And Sumu is the guy I love. Fuck I wanted to marry him. You can still do that. He'll obviously leave me. Because. Imagine you find something similar about Satori. You'd be enraged. I mean. I understand where he's coming from. Then call him. His thoughts are probably eating at him. You're right. And then the call happened. Sakusa was a crying mess after the call. Ashijima and Tendao took turns comforting him. You know Tsumu. He'll forgive you. He won't. I messed up. I always mess up. Kyo. No. Should I call him? No. Unless you want to be called a home wrecker. I'm texting him now. Is he okay? Yeah. He's fine. Back to the group chat. Bitch what the fuck did you tell him? He's a complete mess now. Told him the truth. I swear to god you both are insane. Yeah. Fucking hell Kautara woke up. Be right back. Okay. I'm back. That didn't take long. Okay but there's a problem. Curious Sugamama. Kautara will murder Sakusa san Wait. No. Bitch come pick him up. And talk it out like the adults you are. For God's sake you're not in middle school. Satori. Stop. I know what will knock some sense into this idiot. Sleepy Suna added Daddy Anijiri to the grub chat. Fuck you Rin. Tsumu what the fuck. Are you out of your fucking mind? You finally lost your poor remaining brain cell. Don't you fucking shout at me Samu. No I will shout at you until you get your sanity back. Why the fuck didn't you call me? Why did I have to know that you're at a hotel, a complete mess, and a single bitch via Rin at fucking 3.30 in the morning? I'm still alive you bastard. You go ahead and shoulder everything alone when I die. But don't you dare do that when I'm alive and well and able to beat you into a fucking pal. Babe. Please Rin. Let me knock some sense into this idiot. Hi Osamu-chan. For real? Samu. I'm sorry. Whoa. That's almost like Bakuto-san and Akashi-san. No. Uh. Rinrin why didn't you do that earlier? It's the last resort. What are you apologizing for? You better get the fuck over here and plan out murder. Samu no. 
All right. You get the fuck over here. And we'll sort it out, yeah? No. I'll sort this out myself. You fucking simpleton. What did I just tell you? Osamu. Relax. This won't solve it any faster. Unfortunately, Kito is right. I'm not coming over. Oh fuck you will. Daddy and Nijiri left the group. You brought this upon yourself. Sleepy Suno is a flying. Bastards don't even know where I'm staying. But some some. Your location is there on the snap map. Oh shit. Sleepy Suno is online. Lol thanks for the info show chan. Sleepy Suno is a flying. So you won't pick him up? No. Okay. You'll be a single bitch for real. I don't care. He cared. But he's dumb. Dots. After exactly 20 minutes, someone's knocking on Atsumu's door. Fucking hell. He knew who it was. He opened the door and was pulled into a hug. Samu you're going to suffocate me you idiot. You like it you dumbass. Shut up and let me go. No. Seems like I'm not needed here. No babe you are. Sappy bastards. I can't believe you're not tearing each other apart. Too bad my phone died. Should've captured that on camera. Shut up Rin. Osamu let him go. Are you okay? Yeah I'm fine. La. I can see your fingers fidgeting. Just cry. No judgment here. Right Rin? As if you even need to say it. Atsumu cried. He tried not to. But he did anyway. Osamu held him as he cried his eyes out. He cried until he couldn't anymore. Osamu did nothing but pat his back. A crybaby and you? I'm not. Okay. You're not. He glanced at Suna who took the hint. I'll go get you something to drink. And probably ice for your eyes. Damn you look like a panda. He left. Look at me Tsumu. What? You have the right to be mad. But you're taking it a bit too far don't you think? How the hell am I taking it too far? He could be cheating on me with him. Calm your tits. We're speaking calmly here. Before I lose it and yeet your ass out of the window. You said he could be. Nothing proven. And wait a minute. Don't you and Hinata hang out almost every day? Yes. And weren't you two a fling back before MSBY tryouts? Yes. Oh. No do you realize it you dumbass? Shit. But I didn't keep our momentous. You do realize that Ashijima was probably his first love, don't you? He didn't have to keep the stuff. He should have thrown them away. Like anyone would. People cope differently. I can't believe Elm explaining that to you of all people. He should have told me. I'll agree with you. But. Maybe he thought it wasn't worth mentioning. Because it's not important anymore. You think? Yes. But. What was he thinking when I let them hang out together every day? What was he thinking when L didn't even doubt anything? He must have thought I was a fool. Tears were stinging the corner of his eyes. Tsumu. You know Sakusa would never do that. Did he call you? Yes. How did it go? Not too well. I kinda told him that I don't want to see him again. No shit Tsumu. Rin knocked on the door and walked in. He handed Tsumu a juice box. What about me Rin Rin? What about you? Mimi. Kidding. He handed Samu another juice box. I'd forget that idiot but not you. Rin that's mean. I'm the one who needs comforting. What do I do now? Talk to him? What's there to do other than that? He's probably feeling awful. Atsumu thought for a moment. But why did he keep that box? You do realize that he left it at his old apartment don't you? If he still held on to it then you would have found it in your shared closet. And that would be pretty messy. Rin is right. So you go and wash your face and call him. I don't want to talk to him. So you're giving up on your relationship like that. There was a knock on the door. Fuck that must be Toru. Atsumu went to open the door and he was met with puffy red eyes and tear stained cheeks. What the fuck are you doing here? Sakusa hugged him. Get off me. Sunarin did you tell him I was here? Sakusa let go. And what if I did? I'll murder you. Tsumu. Can we talk? What is that bastard doing here? 
He looked over at Ashijima who was standing in the doorway. I gave him a ride. It wouldn't be nice if he crashed into something. You little. Tsumu. Stop. All right. I'll stop. I'm calm. Yes. I totally don't want to murder you all. Tsumu can we talk? Fine. And that's our cue to leave. Suna, Samu, and Ashi left. Come one. Spit it out. I'm tired. I'm sorry wo. Sakusa Kayumi apologizing. That's news to me. I'm really sorry. You have 30 seconds to explain yourself. Staring now. I'll tell you everything. I don't care. Why did you keep that stuff? And you must have known I'd find it. Are you for real? Do you want to break my heart that much? It's not like that. I totally forgot about that box. If I knew that it was still there I would have gotten rid of it earlier. Elm so sorry. I know you think Elm awful. But I'm sorry. Ashijima isn't like that to me anymore. He's a good friend. You're the one I love now. I just don't get it. It's been about. Seven years. Seven fucking years. And the box was intact. You two were dating when I was head over heels for you. I thought I was your first love as well. But seems like I wasn't. And seriously. A Shijima of all people. I didn't know you liked me back then. And even if I knew. I was with him then. And. I didn't get rid of the stuff because I was hurt. I kept everything to remind me that I shouldn't allow anyone to overstep my boundaries. Then you came along. You didn't overstep my boundaries. You eradicated them. I was never close to anyone the way I'm close to you. Even Ashijima. You're special. Tears were streaming down at Sumu's face. I hid the box away because there was no need for me to keep looking at it anymore. You're the one who keeps me grounded now. Not that stupid box. Sumu. You mean everything to me. I completely forgot about the existence of that box. We moved in together about four years ago. I haven't seen that box since. I never even thought about it. Ashijima and I were over a long time ago. And he has Tenda now. Atsumu hated seeing Sakusa so vulnerable. He wasn't used to seeing him trembling with every word and wiping his tears. He hated this. Omi. I'm sorry. I jumped to conclusions. And. I know you'd never cheat on me. I just. Felt betrayed. And. I feel like I was kept in the dark. Sakusa hugged him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of that. If. If you don't want me to talk to Ashijima anymore, I'll do that. I don't want to lose you. No no no. I never asked for that. I know I overreacted. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You did nothing wrong. I'm the one who's sorry. I'll get rid of that box. You know I don't care about the box. But damn Omi Omi. I didn't know you were into dense guys. I'm not. Why did you two break up? He realized he was in love with Tendao. Not me. That fucker. He left you for Tendao. Blind idiot. If that didn't happen then you and I wouldn't be together now. I guess I have to thank him for that. Thank you Ashiwaka for dumping my boyfriend and breaking his heart. Don't make it sound so horrible. Author's note. I want a brother like Samu, a boyfriend like Sakusa, a best friend like Okoa and Suna. Alright. So are we fine now? We are. We've always been fine. We'll always be fine. I love you. I love you more. I can't live without you, you know that? I know that. No one will be able to keep restocking your list all the way I do. Author's note. Cough cough. Dots. I think they're okay now. They better be. And you. You dated Sakusa for real? Yes. Damn. Right. The visuals. The visuals. Author's note. I'm sure they share a brain cell. Dots. Dai-chan. They kicked me out of the group. Who did? Toru did. Dot. Achu. I were chan I think I'm catching a cold. No shit. Probably someone cursing your stupid ass. So mean I were chan The Endlmeo. Check out my fanfic. Link in the description box.
I'm too lazy to make an outro. Tell my master that I'm making YouTube videos and I'll have my fellow Lissle Bottles kick your ass. Thanks for watching.